Hello everyone. Welcome to Cybersecurity with Channel. I am Daniel Rawat and I'm thrilled to be your guide in navigating the ever evolving landscape of digital security. With over a decade of experience in the field of web application development, web application security and information security, on this channel, we will dive deep into the world of cybersecurity, demystifying complex concepts, exploring the latest trends and providing practical tips to keep you and your devices and your data safe. Whether you're a seasoned IT professional or someone just starting their cybersecurity journey, there's something here for everyone. If you're passionate about staying ahead of the cybersecurity game, hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell and join our community. Together, we will empower ourselves with knowledge to navigate the digital world security. Thank you for tuning in and let's embark on the cybersecurity journey together. Stay secure. Thank you. Today's topic explains the difference between ISM and PSPF. ISM stands for Information Security Manual. PSPF stands for Protective Security Policy Framework. So let's jump onto the introduction and understand what's the difference between these two. Both of the frameworks are managed by Australian government and are part of broader framework to ensure the security of government information and assets. ISM is owned by Australian Signal Directorate, ASD, whereas PSPF is owned by Attorney General's Department. What's the difference between these two? The Information Security Manual, ISM, and the Protective Security Policy Framework, PSPF, are two distinct sets of guidelines used in Australia, each focusing on different aspects of security. Both are managed by Australian government and are part of the broader framework to ensure the security of government information and assets. Fine to be noted, PSPF is a set of documents rather than a single volume of single volume like ISM. So that's the difference. Now, let's jump onto the Information Security Manual, ISM. The focus area is the ISM primarily focuses on introduction, uh, primarily focuses on information and cybersecurity. It provides guideline on protective sensitive information and managing cybersecurity risks. ISM includes a set of controls and recommendations for securing information system and data. It covers topics such as access controls, network security, incident response, and risk management. The ISM is especially relevant for government agencies and organizations that handle classified and sensitive information. Australian Cybersecurity Center provide the ISM framework which outlines the cybersecurity framework for the organizations. And the purpose of the ISM is to outline a cybersecurity framework that an organization can apply using their risk management framework to protect their systems and data from cyber threats. Intended audiences, the ISM is intended for chief information security officers, CISOs we call them, Chief Information Officers, Cyber Security Professionals, and Information Technology Managers. Who's the authority? The ISM represents the considered advice of the Australian Signals Directorate, ASD. This advice is provided in accordance with ASD's designated functions under the Intelligence Service Act 2001. ASD also provides cyber security advice in the form of Australian communication security instructions and other cyber related cyber security related publications. In these cases, devices and application specific devices may take precedence over the advice in the ISM. By using their own risk management framework, organizations can apply ISM to protect their information and system from cyber threats. Legislation and legal considerations. An organization is not required as a matter of law to comply with ISM unless legislation or a direction given under legislation or by some other lawful authority. 
compels them to comply. Furthermore, the ISM does not override any obligations imposed by legislation or law. Finally, if the ISM conflicts with the log uh, legislation or law, the later takes the precedence. So this is about the ISM. Now let's jump on to the protective security policy framework. The protective security policy framework assists Australian government entities to protect their people, information and assets, both at home and overseas. It sets out government protective security policy and helps entitle entities to implement the policy across security governance information security, personal security, and physical security. So the focus is the PSPS is a broader framework that encompasses physical security, personal security, and information security. It addresses the overall security of government entities. What, it, what is included in it? The PSPF includes guidelines for managing security risks across various domains, including physical security measures, personal vetting, and clearances and information security practices. Applicability. The PSPF is applicable to the entire government sector and covers a wide range of security considerations beyond information and cyber security. For more information, visit the below cyber.gov.au website. Conclusion. Both the ISM and PSPF contributes to the overall security posture of Australian government entities. The ISM is specifically target information and cyber security aspects, whereas the PSPF is more comprehensive framework that encompasses physical security, personal security, and information security. These frameworks are complementary, and government agencies often need to consider and implement controls from both the ISM and PSPF to create a robust security environment. Thank you so much for listening.